We Swiss, we, you know, we are neutral generally, mm -hmm. but that's not okay. When you tell a Swiss person that you're from Canada, they're always like, hey, I've been to Vancouver five times. So we know the Swiss love Canada, but did you know that Canadians love Swiss chalet? There is a fast food chain in Canada called Swiss chalet. They're known for rotisserie chicken and ribs, but more than anything else, they're known for their dipping sauce. And it just so happens that you can buy the powdered version of this to make at home. And the last time I was in Canada, I bought some and brought it back with me to Switzerland. And now we're gonna try it out on some real Swiss people, my coworkers. Ooh. It's not really my, my, my favorite. It's boring. It's delicious. Better than ketchup. Not very special. Quite completely disgusting. It smells like... I don't know. Shit. It's absolute rubbish. <laughs> Seriously, this is really bollocks. <laughs> you, you know that Canadian people love this stuff? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, it's just, you know, a bad version of what we would call a broth, the sauce. Uh, it's like nothing. So... It's neutral. It's Swiss. I think it's not typically Swiss. It tastes pretty Canadian, I guess. In Canada, this is the reason to go to these restaurants is the sauce. And they think they're doing Swiss food. I don't think we don't actually think that's Swiss food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you think the restaurant shouldn't be called Swiss chalet? It's not even a, a traditional Swiss meal. Shouldn't it be like cheesy or something? Chicken and potatoes. We never eat chicken and potatoes together. But Canadians love all sorts of other stuff, which is fairly questionable too. You have Hortons in Canada, don't you? Hortons? <laughs> it's called Tim Hortons. Why don't you stick to Hortons? You have Hortons. We have the Swiss chalets. Well, what if the Chinese and the Japanese and all these people, uh, they, they, they haven't ever been to Switzerland, but they, you know, might think about going to Switzerland one day and they go to Canada first and they see this, like Swiss chalet, and they get the impression that Switzerland would be like this, like the chalets look like this and that the typical Swiss food looks like this and tastes like this. I don't think these people would ever come to Switzerland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>